hey guys let's focus here focus 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 this is a gig by a freelance writer and he's earning 75 US dollars for writing two pages resumes in total this guy has earned over 1 million US dollars so this writing online writing job is free and in this video I'm going to show you the things that you need and the skills that you require in order to start writing online and making some good income so stay focused till the end and you'll be able to learn much much more about online writing hello this is wills and welcome to my channel where you learn about writing making money online and much more all you have to do is to listen like and give me questions or comments thank you for joining me online so what is online writing now online writing involves working on jobs that are sent on the internet so this is how it happens a client sends to work for example via email you get the instructions you work on the project you send the work then uh, you are paid so online jobs are also diverse and they include freelance writing data entry and all other projects that can be done online so i'm going to talk about the tools and resources that you can use or what you need in order to start online writing so the first tool you need is a personal computer so one of the types of a personal computer that you can use is a desktop now a desktop you can put it in your house and uh, set aside the space where you'll be working from this computer can be put on top of a table and you connect it to the internet so one of the advantages is that it's secure in your house and you can also enjoy wide screen for example you can have a desktop that is a 14 inch 17 inch 19 inch or even 24 inch so you can enjoy that kind of wide screen and it's also multi-purpose the next type of computer that you can use for online writing is the laptop computer now these small machines are portable for example you can carry your laptop computer to your workplace you can carry this laptop computer to your favorite restaurant you can even carry the laptop to your car and start working from there so it's also multi-purpose you can use it for writing you can use it for watching movies and so much it also more efficient in terms of power you will save a lot of energy when using a laptop computer for writing for example when you start using the laptop you can charge you ensure that your battery is charged then once it is charged you can unplug the power and continue doing your work another advantage is that when power goes off you can easily save your work and uh, you not lose your work in case it is urgent or you, you, you by the time the power is going off you may not have saved your work so that is an advantage then another tool you can use you will require when doing online writing is your smartphone 
Now a smartphone, let me emphasize that a smartphone is not good for writing, although you can process um, text using your smartphone, it may not be suitable for doing uh, works like uh, typing an essay. So a smartphone will only be useful for connectivity, for example, you can connect your smartphone to your laptop and start using the internet. You can also benefit from the smartphone with the notifications. For example, when a client sends you work or if you have an employer sending you work, you can easily get notifications via your phone and uh, you can use an application like uh, the gmail application you can open the the document if it is instructions you will open the document and you'll be able to check the instructions and see whether you can do the work or not so that is uh, as far as a smartphone is concerned then uh, the second thing I want to talk about is internet connection. Internet connection is a must if you want to do remote work. So internet connection, what does it help? Or what is the work of internet? Now the first thing is that the internet will allow you to communicate with your clients. If you are sending an email to a client, you will need the internet. Your laptop must be connected to the internet. If you want to communicate via WhatsApp, you also need internet connection and you'll be able to reach your client. Now the internet is also useful because it will allow you to access websites and databases. For example, if you are doing research on a topic, you will be required to access websites where you will find sources and, and that kind of stuff. You will also be required to access academic databases where you will find research articles that you will be using to complete your work. So once you completed your work, you will also need the internet to send to your employer or your client if you are dealing with direct clients. So what are the types of internet sources that you can use? Now the first source of internet is the home connection, home internet. Now in most houses nowadays we have uh, the home internet and there are different uh, internet service providers. Now what you should be careful about is the speed of that internet. Now anything above 5 Mbps would be good for doing uh, online writing. Now for this you will be required to pay a monthly subscription. So that you should keep in mind and it will save you a lot when it comes to internet. The second source of internet is the mobile internet. This is the type of internet where you get it via your smartphone. So if you are a service provider uh, allows you to, to buy bundles. You can buy your bundles then uh, connect your smartphone via USB cable or uh, there is a feature called uh, hotspot connection once you have the setup in place you will be able to have uh, your internet or uh, laptop connected to the internet and you'll be able to continue working then the other sources of internet we have options such as uh, cyber caves you can go to a cyber cave and uh, just plug in and start working from there. You can also access internet via institutional Wi-Fi. 
for example if you are still a student you can uh, access free wi-fi at your institution if you are working somewhere we have organizations companies they also have free wi-fi that you can use to do your online writing work you can also go to a restaurant if you have uh, your laptop you can carry it to your rest to your favorite restaurant and ask for the wi-fi password where you'll be able to continue working on your online job well guys as i promised i will show you places that you can find online writing jobs so these are websites we'll start with websites number one is fiverr.com fiverr.com you'll create an account and uh, start uh, creating a gig and you'll be able to get good online writing jobs you also have another site called upwork.com where you can find online writing jobs you can do from the comfort of your home we also have another website called freelancer.com you'll sign up just like an upwork and fiverr and you'll be able to start getting jobs and communicate with customers you also have facebook where you can advertise your services and get online writing jobs from customers in the u.s and other developed countries we also have a website called quora.com where people ask answers you can make use of quora.com to find online writing jobs so lastly what skills do you need to start online writing work you need the uh, skills such as uh, microsoft word that is you should be able to use a microsoft word document you should be able to type text and process you should also be able to read excel files video images and also be able to use the browsers like the google chrome to find such and uh, process information so thank you so much that's all for now and i uh, will see you in the next video you can give me comments on what you'd like to learn about online writing in the next video